What's going on guys, it's Orphan Slayer, and I've got a quick tutorial for you guys. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to do this effect that I did in a mini a while ago. But yeah, this is a pretty simple effect, but it looks pretty cool. Um, so basically to start off, I got two clips. You got your one in the back that you're going to be transitioning from, and you got your one in the front that you're going to be transitioning to. Um, generally you're going to want to have a scope or something that you can mask out in front. It doesn't have to be a scope, you could do something like a Spartan and an angle or something. Um, that's in Halo of course, you can apply this to any game, whatever. But um, basically I'm going to be doing this with still images just to save time and effort. But you can do this with anything, you can twixter it, you can do it with a full moving uh, video, whatever you want. But anyway, I'm just gonna take the times here and make it still images. And there's no color correction in this or anything. I didn't bother. Sorry about that if it makes any difference. Probably not. But, um, alright, to start, I am going to first duplicate this before I mask. Then you can turn off the top one. Head on down to the bottom one. Doesn't really matter, top or bottom. I'm gonna move them around later, probably. Uh, and then just do a quick mask of the scope. Obviously, you guys are gonna want to uh, play with this a little bit, like play with these things to make the mask a little bit nicer. But um, I'm not gonna worry about that that again for time's sake but now you got the scope masked out you have to begin transitioning I guess so let's turn this off we're gonna make a layer new solid make it comp size and black and then do effect generate grid You're gonna get yourself a wonderful grid um, you can screw with this the anchor in the corner to decide how much you want your grid to be spaced uh... this works whatever um, and then you're gonna wanna actually actually first you might wanna add a nice little glow because it looks better um, and then fuck, layer precompose this shit um, cause otherwise you can't mask on top of something on top of a grid if you uh if you haven't precomposed it. But yeah, so go here, grab the mask, copy it, control C, paste it, got your mask. Um wanna hit MM to bring up these options. Feather it a bit. Um probably gonna be one a little more than four. Twenty seems to look alright. Um so basically what I did when I did this, I let's start this around here. This doesn't need to be such a huge ass composition make it something more like 60 frames I don't actually, I think this might be running at 60 frames per second so I might want to extend that out a little bit more actually let's make that like 130 or something um, okay, pull this shit back out, sorry about that hopefully it doesn't ruin your viewing experience but um, yeah so you got this looking good and the way I brought this up was just simply with the opacity, I believe, you just put a keyframe, go back a little bit, set it down to zero, and I think not only did I do that, um, I added a distort, I added bulge, um, you gotta just play with this to get it to cover up the whole thing, so that it's a nice bulge you can see because if you turn this off it's not bulging um, and you just keyframe the bulge height, you might want to make this like 0.5-ish, nah that's a little low, 0.7 will probably work uh, head back here put it on 0 and then go over here and move up a little bit, put that back to 0 so that's a just nice little bulge and then back and then you're going to also want to go to the same frame and put the opacity down to 0 so you just got a nice little um, I'm gonna spread these keyframes out a little bit, I think they're a bit close together. 
Um, yeah, you can play with the timing on yours to make it look how you want it. Um, and then you got your mask, the sniper mask, there we go. Put that on top. What I did was I believe I pre-composed this and added a little glow, where is it? So, actually no, this is a later step, I'm sorry. Um, first, you just want to do transition, linear wipe, basic transition. Um, move this to 180 degrees, I believe. It might be zero, but we'll see. Yeah, it's zero. Fuck me in the face. Um, feather it a little bit because it looks better. You can feather it however much you want. Um, go ahead and keyframe this so that it'll like bulge up, and as it's bulging up, you have your thing coming across. So it's alright. And then I made a layer new adjustment layer. And this is where you add the glow or whatever. Um, stylize, glow, turn the threshold down a lot, turn the radius up a lot, turn the intensity up. Um, that should work. Now I want to make this so that it's only on the edge of this thing. So I can take the mask again from here, let's grab that, put it on the adjustment layer, so it's just covering this, and you're going to want to, uh, wrong one, uh, grab this, if you click in, you bring up this crap, get rectangle, um, do a little masking right on the edge, and then I believe if you put it to intersect, yep, that works wonderfully. Um, do MM again to bring up your other stuff. Feather the mask out a tad. And then you're going to want to go to your mask path. Keyframe that. Um, head to the front where you just began your little sh thing. And grab your mask. And move it on up to the top so that it's off of it. So then you can move down to the bottom when it finishes and bring your mask again all the way off so that when you drag it along you should have a nice little glow going on top of your thing as it goes, which is nice. You don't need that, looks nice, I think, so I use it. Um, Alright, so now you need the background, so that's this little blank layer. Um, basically what I did I just went and made a new solid, made a comp size, brought up a grid again, so I'm going to go to generate grid, um, again screw with your anchors and shit so that you have whatever size grid you want, um, you can go ahead and put this below your scope, um, and then uh, what I did, well, you're going to have to layer pre- oh, wait, first add a glow because it looks pretty. Um, Alright, good. Layer, pre-compose, so you can do some masking. Looking good. I actually don't even know, yeah, you don't even need to do any masking, so never mind. But you should still pre-compose it so that do another effect so it looks better. I don't know if it actually does anything, but I just pre-compose stuff because it's good to do. Keep your shit organized. But again, bulge, pull this up, make it all wonderful like this, um, and basically we're just doing the same thing as we did before again. Find the time when it's about here, somewhere near the end, eh, maybe a little bit earlier. About here, I guess, that works. Um, and wait, I gotta check something. I'll do that, I'll worry about that later. Alright, about here. And you're going to want to go and keyframe your bulge height and move this out a bit. Put the height, oh god, put the height down to zero so you get a nice little bulge again. And back to zero. So you got this followed by that. And just bring up your opacity as well. And. Put it to zero, so you got a 
and then back to zero. Hopefully that looks all right. And all right, you got your little uh, this. I'm gonna do effect transition linear wipe. Put this to zero. Put it up a bit so you can. Oh, what the hell! I suck at dragging stuff. All right, find your feather. Make something that looks all right. 65, I guess that works. And I'll put this up and move over as it bulges out and comes down. I don't know why this is off. Let's fix that. And I'm on the wrong layer. And there you go. So then that'll bulge and wipe your back layer on. So you've got, which I guess this looks all right. If you want to make it look better, you can tweak it a bit, play around with it. And obviously it looks a lot better if the thing is slightly twixtered or in some sort of motion. So it's not just completely blank, but uh, it, it looks all right, I guess. Let's preview this. Hopefully it's not too fast. If it is, I'll just spread my keyframes out, but um it's all right so far let's see how it goes oh yeah that might be a bit fast um you can play with it you might want to add some easy ease as well you might want to split these a little bit um if you bring up everything that's keyframed you might, might want to take all the keyframes on the second one that are further out you might want to take them and move them over a bit um do a little bit of rematching upping Hopefully this doesn't screw the whole thing up. It very well might. I'm completely doing this impromptu tutorial with no planning whatsoever. That might be a little bit long in between, but uh, you get what I'm saying, hopefully. You can split the keyframes make it bigger. And split the distance in between them to make each effect itself go a little bit faster. But anyway, that's it. Hopefully you guys learned at least something, even though this tutorial wasn't the best. Um, that's about it. Expect more tutorials and commentaries and minis and montages and all that good stuff for me in the not-so-distant future. But that's it. Thanks for watching, everyone.